Disqualified Eurovision contestant Juist Klein likely to face charges say Swedish police Juist Klein, the Netherlands Eurovision contestant who was disqualified from the competition just hours before the grand final, will probably be charged with making illegal threats, Swedish police have said. The 26-year-old favourite to win was expelled from the competition in Malmö unprecedented in the 68-year history of Eurovision, after a female member of the production crew made a complaint about an alleged backstage incident to Swedish police. Police spokesperson Jimmy Modin told The Guardian that their investigation was over and that a decision on the charges should come within the next couple of weeks. He did not say what the nature of the alleged threats, well we expect there will probably be a prosecution Emil Andersson, the police officer in charge of the case, told Swedish broadcaster SVT. He said an accelerated prosecution, a process that takes around six to eight weeks will be likely as the altercation did not involve a more serious crime. The Sidsvenska Daily, a Malmö newspaper, said that the crime of making threats usually leads to fines upon conviction. After Klein was expelled, Dutch broadcaster of Rotro said it was shocked by the decision and said that while Klein made a threatening move towards a female camera operator, he had not touched her. Against the clearly made agreement, Juiced was filmed when he had just gotten off stage and had too rushed to the green room. At that moment, Juiced repeatedly indicated that he did not want to be filmed. This wasn't respected, Avrotros said. The broadcaster claimed it had offered several solutions to the European Broadcasting Union EBU, which runs Eurovision but Klein was ejected anyway. Of Rotros, which has been representing Klein, declined to comment when approached by the Guardian. Islands contestant Bambi Thug also confirmed they made multiple complaints in the run up to the final and accused Israeli broadcaster Khan of inciting violence against them during its coverage of their performance. During the first semi final, a Khan commentator said Bambi Thug had spoken negatively about Israel, adding, But we can talk about that later. Prepare your curses. This may have been a reference to a lyric about placing a hex on an X in Bambi Thug's song, but the performer said they felt it crossed a line the broadcaster can has disobeyed the rules, and I hope next year Israel won't be able to compete, because of that Bambi Thug told reporters after the contest. Some contestants described the atmosphere behind the scenes this year as tense and horrible as thousands protested outside on the streets of Malmo calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. I in a post on Instagram after the grand final Golan wrote, to say it was easy would be a lie. But with your support and love it gave me the strength to continue and put on the absolute best performance I knew I can do. Lithuania's entrant Sylvester Belt, who performed after Golan at the grand final called it a traumatic experience on social media writing going after that country, with the crowd being so intense, was one of the worst things I had to go through. I really did the best that I could in this situation. Swiss singer Nemo who won the contest with their song The Code, said in a press conference after that the experience was really intense and that they felt maybe Eurovision needs fixing a little bit. The European Commission also criticised a decision by the EBU to ban audience members from waving the EU flag at the grand final, calling it completely regrettable and mind-blowing. Associated Press contributed to this report.